Monsieur de Bourbeau, can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Sh Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Hmm, kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. As for Jean-Luc, afraid he's dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. I shall soon find another to take his place. Right. After all, he is just a peasant. Not a monsieur de blah blue blah. So long. chit-chat with someone else. Be gone from my sight! Think you can do whatever you please? Sheet that blade, you twit! I knew you'd be scanning back from the start. We've got to go at him together! Together! Got it!
Check. We could use one around here, full time.
Greetings! Whoa! Greetings!
Wanna go to the port? Maybe there's some new ships. How do you like to do it? Oh. Ah. Oh, an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. Oh. What? You want to fight? <laughs> it matters not. Will someone explain to me why you are here? Ah! Garim! Deadly thirsty. Mm. As thirsty as I am. Can you believe it? I was to get a new quad from Jean Roulette. A coin, or I'll spew on your boots. But I don't do 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 on our way. your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Spoon like this. When you set a place, where's it go? My, oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note led me here. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. Mm, what are you serving up today?
See you later. Did you kiss, uh, our sweet shining sun? Drink and be merry, thus spake the prophet Lebiota. The tournament. Am I too late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. Work doth one ennoble, sloth doth one gratify. Yes, uh, our sweet shining sun. Thank you. 
What's new, Silver Locks? Looking for diversion? Suddenly, she is very unkind. Welcome. It is right and fitting, Witcher, that the Duquesa summoned. God, God sucks its blood to piss. I paid too much out again. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So, what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights wander the roads, protecting Tucson from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toys. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Uh, speaking of payment, my most heartfelt gratitude, sir. Compensation for your sacrifice. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Can't help but be curious, but where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing water that any knight may receive a wager. <coughs> Pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication to defending the duchy's internal security and order. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. Wanting death's peace to know, and those who were in fresh graves. It is right and fitting, Witcher, that the Duquesa summoned and you came. Right and fitting, Witcher, that the Duquesa summoned and you came. Viva la fête! I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's not a substance. 
Run, Roach. No one gives a hoot about us poor folk. Whose notion of order no. is this? Pickle Why doesn't all. someone do something? What's this about? Ah, the notice, is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the, uh, tourney? Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the, uh, tourney? Agreed. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, master. Sweet prophet, love you always talk. Where am I? Slithering snake by the lake. I can't hear anything. 
anything. But might want to look around anyway. She once had me. Where's that coat gone this time? Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. and bloomers. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. Lots of tracks. Not much I can glean from them, though. Gotta come back after dark. Here, 
recognize Margot de Quarantin. Hmm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Louis de Quarantin died on the day of St. Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm, noises started right around then. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Hmm, something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... Dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And... Who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times. Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The decorant towns. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! it all. Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. Ah, 
need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! I see you fell for that pious tart's dribble. Drax! Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah. Once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Find work here, not paying work, that is. <laughs> you gents also looking for that Gwent Club? What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey. With a plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Bad idea. to die of drink than of boredom. Oof, my 
up, Ellie. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, Audrin, Audrin. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here, for your trouble. Thanks. Labiotus wounds. Oh, I must have eaten something rancid. Oh, forgive me. Hello, cheers, how did you? In need of anything? Mind if I glance at your stock? See ya. Mm. Better to die of drink than of boredom. Done. Now where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate. Then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden, beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent.